Hi. What's going on? Oh, hello, Otter. Hey. Yo. Great to have you, a cool. mage freeze expert, with me today. Yeah, that's me. Yep. <laughs> How are you this, uh, what time is it for you? It's morning. You're in California? Yep. How are you this morning? Uh, it's afternoon. It's pretty good. How about yourself? I'm okay. You're on the East Coast, sorry? Yeah. So it's afternoon. I should probably uh, see just what rank I'm at before I profess to know anything about this class. I think I was about 60 when I logged off last night. It's pretty good. It's, it's okay. It's alright. Decent rank. Alright, so on Skype I've shared my window with you. Hopefully that works. Wonderful. Yeah, I can see it. Alright, so here's the last version of the deck I was left with. The Otter mm -hmm. Puff. So you can let me know if there's any changes you'd make to it. Okay, so the the update I just got this morning was um, along the lines of that ERA has made top 16 with a variation to this list, so he has Pyroblast out for Antonidas, which is a change I didn't want to make for a long time because I didn't think it was good. So the, the lesson is to keep an open mind. There's a lot of different versions that could be good. Right now, I, can't, I don't feel like I can offer uh, advice on that version because I haven't seen it played or I haven't played it myself. Okay. But there's, a, there's variations to this list that are still viable as of a few hours ago to make top 16. Oh, I kind of like that idea. You want to take out the Pyro Blast for No, no, I'll go now? with what you're familiar with today, but I will keep that in mind. Yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm giving you the full information so that everyone knows, you know, there's different lists, and the one that I've been running might not, it might be somewhat out of date. It was very effective last season, but this might be the, the new age. So the, the only thing I would consider is uh, I've been doing maybe like one Acolyte out for a, a Loot Hoarder. Or I've been experimenting with only one Drake, just trying to bring the curve down slightly. But this list is the one that got me uh, top 16 last season, exactly the way it is right now. So it, it's the one I'm most familiar with, I played the most hours on. Oh. Other swing cards I could identify for you are stuff like uh, Polymorph, uh, Second Flame Strike, Vaporize, Cold Light Oracle, Cone of Cold. I mean, <laughs> there's so many options, as uh, Jaina might say, or wow. Valera. Very good. So, uh, just for throwing it in there, is this the version that you would think would have the most success now, or would you like to change something? It's what, I, it's what I've been playing, and what I ended up at, uh, at 60 last night. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I've been experimenting every day with slight variations, but this is the one I'd feel most solid about. Alright, let's roll with this. How do you um, think this does against Druid in general? So... That's interesting. I closed out last night with a win against Druid. It sort of depends on what their list is. If they run the double combo, they might be able to create enough pressure. On the other hand, if they're the ramp Druid, then they might have enough healing just to uh, like outlast you with Alex Straza. So there are a few different ways Druid can kind of take the Freeze Mage out. And I'd be interested to know how Antonidas improves that matchup myself, not having tried it. So, I think Druid for me has been like a 50-50. Lately. Okay. Being on the Druid side of the thing, uh, I know that I've lost to Antonidas a lot. Huh. Yeah. Well, th we can see how it goes, and we could even try substitutions, and you can show me a whole new kind of the deck, even today. It might be that Antonidas is the way to go now. That's the uh, spirit of uh, Hearthstone deck design. Always be on the lookout for the next big thing. That's exactly right. You can't become calcified. Uh, I know Antonidas wasn't as good last season because there was almost no Druid I was hitting. It was all like Miracle Rig, and I thought Pyroblast was easily enough damage. But stubbornness is not something you want to get caught up in. For sure. Jaina versus Garrosh. Victory or death. You asked for it. I hear this matchup isn't very good. I think I'll uh, keep the Drake, or uh, would you also get rid of it? Mm. So against the Control Warrior, I think it's fairly important to find Doomsayer early on, because if you don't find a Doomsayer for the uh, Armor Smith, things get quite bad. So I think I would toss back the whole hand. Okay. But keeping Drake is also an idea. I'm surprised that Doomsayer is a key card here. I probably would have tossed it back. Yeah, so I beat Control Warrior last night with... Uh, 
with this list. And the important component was that he didn't get any value out of the armor smith he played early on because of the Doomsayer that I played. Hmm. Okay. And uh, it doesn't get better later on, the Doomsayer play, because uh, eventually he draws into Slam Execute, he has the gigantic uh, shield uh, slam, etc. So the early, earlier you get the Doomsayer out, like if you could play it right now, it would be the best time. Makes sense. Alright, uh, novice? As it is, I think you do have to novice. Just to play your card draw on curve. Even though it's unfortunate, he gets the armor out of it. Yep. So this is my curiosity. What is this uh, hearth tracker that you get to... It's stat tracking for your games? No, oh, yes. Gotcha. Okay, Acolyte of Pain or Arcane Intellect here? Looks like Acolyte's pretty good against that. Yeah. Let the pain speak to me. And we consider to coin out the Drake on this coming turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got the one damage in. Haha. <laughs> Would you still do Drake even though he's got four armor and this uh, does four? Uh, if that board? trade happens, I think we're pretty happy, right? Because it takes the armor smith out before any whirlwind shenanigans. So okay. I would be very tempted to do that, yeah. Alright. Job's done. And if it doesn't work out that way, we have the Doom. So suppose he played turn two. Armor Smith, you would play turn two Doomsayer? Absolutely. Alright. I think it maximizes the chance of that Armor Smith not getting value. And uh, nothing else is that important to control on his side of the board. Like, you don't need to save Doomsayer for a Nova. Because anyway, if you wait on that Nova Doom turn, he's going to have the Slam Execute or something like that. Okay, well, Just that said, experience. would you do Arcane and, like Doomsayer here? Yeah, I think so. Now it's a little bit more uh, hopeful that he won't have a good way to deal with it. He's had a few more turns to try and to execute, etc. Okay. I didn't realize this card was such a key card. I would feel pretty silly doing this normally. I think uh, every point of armor matters. He's already gotten a little bit too much value out of that uh, armor smith. He found a clean answer. Now with this much armor, it's already looking ugly. Yep. Because uh, if you don't kill the Armor Smith with a Doomsayer, then you end up having to Blizzard or Flame Strike upboard with that on it, and he gains an extra four armor or something like that later on. Oh. It all adds up. Okay. So if I play the Acolyte, it looks like I'll overdraw here, so I think it's going to be Ice Bear, but. and what Ice Block also. You? Well, you could defend the Acolyte with images, but you, with the remaining two mana, you're just going to ping his face or something like that. Uh, you think uh, that's better than the double secret, or uh, I think those are the two players. I'd probably do double secret just to uh, unclog your hand. Okay. Yeah. And of course, as a random note, this is uh, one of the matchups which is worse. Do you have a, an approximate percentage of how often you expect to win this matchup? Yeah, twenty-five percent. Twenty-five. Okay. It's happened, uh, you know, more than ten times on stream. And I've been thinking since it's such a frequently asked question of compiling just like a list of the VODs, but maybe that's a little bit too uh, self-indulgent to <laughs> just show show myself beating Control Warrior over and over again. But it happens. It's yep. just a little bit tough. Alright, well on this turn, this is a bit tricky. I'll just throw it to you. I'm not sure what to do. So images uh, aren't really getting better. They might as well go down on a turn like now. And my first impression is something like Arcane and... Acolyte with it, you might overdraw. So how about Acolyte and Fire Blast it? I wonder. That hangs one mana, and well, wait, hang on. We're at eight cards. I think images happens for sure because our hand is so clogged. Okay. Beyond that, I think it's going to be. Uh, yeah, uh, Acolyte goes out. Do you think it or the face though? Well, yeah, cards. I think we can we can ping it. It's fine. Okay. Definitely feels like a challenge to get through uh, all the armor he's got, though. Oh yeah, but 
The the way we win from here is that the other shield block is in the bottom three cards or something like that. Hmm. And uh, it turns out we do have enough burst, unless he gets a whirlwind off right about now. Well, ouch. Yeah. Because we couldn't control the armor smith early enough, that basically takes us out of the game. Well, on the bright side, the. Well, it's kind of a bright side. Killed a bunch of this stuff. Uh. Blizzard? And fire blast them? Yep, that seems right to me. Alright, 48 to go. Or 50 to go. So we do 15 of that and it's junk. He will armor up to uh, at least about 60 total. No the question is games. do we have 45 damage in the deck? So, 10, 22. Hey. It's a Straza. Yep, but he's got a Sylvanas in play, so I'm guessing this is not the right play this turn. It seems like before playing the Alex Straza, this has to go, but of course, it's really reluctant to we use it. We can't use any burn on it. Yeah, uh, we could consider to do something like Ice Barrier and Doom, and with our remaining mana, just cycle with Arcane. But he'll just kill the Doom. Like, this needs to die eventually, right? Before the Alex Straza hits play? I don't think we're going to kill it. We might just, uh,. Even just Straza now. Okay, so Straza will just go on to his, his side, and we're gonna take that as a. Unless they want to uh, delay into like a Blizzard and a Flame Strike, if we think we're gonna cycle into that after Arcane. Uh, so yeah, we could do the Armor and Doomsayer now. It's not bad. Hmm. And Arcane. Okay. But Alex needs to go down pretty soon. As good a, of an answer as Sylvanas is for Alex Straza. Uh, we Do you want to Ice Lance, uh, Sylvanas? No, we need it, right? Absolutely not, yeah. The wind condition is tenuous as it is. Yep. My blade be thirsty. Maybe the best result is something like, uh, uh, images to go with Alex Straza now, and somehow he doesn't get to make the attack. Oh man, the other armor smith is here, though. Well, good time to get... Flame strike, it's still in the oh, it's here. Well that's that's a good flame strike. We do control the board quite well. But he goes up to twenty seven and then twenty nine. That's true, uh, but yeah. at least there's a chance it, that uh, it might be our Alex best Straza if does he stuff. somehow can't answer Straza, but he will be able to answer Straza. Yeah. yeah we can hope. He's only got three cards. Yeah. Maybe we can fatigue him no, never mind. <laughs> We'll fatigue so much quicker. There's too much cycle in our deck. Yep. And there's the quick clock going down. Hmm, that's kind of spooky. So and killing Ragnaros would mean we lose, but not killing him also yeah. means we lose, yeah? Yeah, so we have the Straza. Wait, and do you. begin the burn plan. Okay. I bring life. We probably have another turn. Uh, before he drops us, so that we get to do a uh, pyroblast and then ice block with a fireball or something like that, and then finish with Belnose and all the remaining burn. I see. So this turn is pyroblast. Yeah. Okay. Too bad to start off on hard mode, but it's good to know the weakness, really. Yeah, and this we're at least going through the motions. Like this is the correct uh, line of play. If he doesn't create enough pressure, if he doesn't have the armor smith whirlwind type of combo, this is this way we sort of maximize damage. You don't cycle Thelnos, you get the damage value out of him. Oh, so we didn't get popped again. So we want to just maximize the uh, the Thelnos next turn. Do we have all the Frosty yeah, it's spells. like all the burn. Yeah. So that takes the Frostbolt, our four, Ice Lance, that's six, Thalnos makes eight. What so we can even just double Fireball and ping okay. now. Yep. And we'll have done all the damage we could, and it will turn out not to have been enough. Okay. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. 
Well, it's uh, 4, 8, uh, 18 the next turn. So it looks like 9 short. Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Alright. Just toss it at him. Why not? Um, is there any chance to win? Like, There's no there... more damage to find. Okay. If this were the Antonidas variation, it's worth mentioning. There could be more damage later on. Yep. What is left in the deck? Probably just Cycle. Maybe ah. the Office Engineer? Yeah. I think we only played one. Well, that's good. The deck did as what it was supposed to. Yeah. We got through the deck before we died. Uh, he was just able to bulk up a little bit too much. Hmm. That's gonna happen. But essentially the reasoning for those who haven't heard me say it uh, dozens of times on my stream is that Control Warrior, I considered it a very tough matchup with or without Antonidas. And I was seeing so little of it for so long that I was willing to basically sacrifice the matchup to make what I thought was a better matchup against Miracle Rogue. Yep, makes sense to me. But maybe the Miracle is going out of style. Uh, maybe not yet. Watch your back. You asked for it. Alright, uh, so I'm inclined to keep just Acolyte. Uh, I don't mind keeping the turn one images because it's a card that only gets more useless later on. It might soak up damage early, but later on it definitely won't soak up damage. He'll just have a blade flurry or a fan of knives, etc. So okay. I would keep that, yeah. And uh, we're up against someone who knows our tricks, because Firebat's been in the mix refining the Freeze Mage with me over time. <laughs> okay. So if any rogue is going to be prepared, for what's going on here, it's him. I mean, just how much preparation can you do against the stack, though? Well, uh, so, it's actually quite a bit for Miracle. When I was playing last season, uh, I had a maybe 80% win rate against Miracle, and now it's dipped off to about 60. I think a big change is that people started saving both Shadow Steps and ERFs until after the offensive Alex Straza. Mm. So they would be able to heal up to 21 or 24 after I set them to 15. So it I kind see. of uh, re required a new playstyle on my part to adapt to that. Uh, and what that consisted of was that I would begin to yeah, try to deck awesome. them out more instead of uh, just planning on the turn 9 Straza, turn 11 kill play. Yeah, that is interesting. And that's why I would use the, the Alex defensively more often. Alright, so on this turn he's got a 3-3 three, three out, so I'm reluctant to play Acolyte. Uh, I'd probably be inclined to play Novice. What's your play? So, Novice and then Coin Thelnos isn't bad, because we don't need the uh, the spell damage probably in this matchup so much. We can just cycle it. But <laughs> I'm, con I'm it's not even that bad to consider Acolyte. Yeah, just but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit bad. Because little... we don't have a turn 5 yet, and so turn 5 right now looks like it's going to be... Uh, Acolyte ping, perhaps. Okay, if we do the That's novice the blood mage, there's no turn four though. Is that a concern? Yeah, but turn four, we're probably going to want to drop a doomsayer to preempt. I see. Uh, well, yeah, I okay. think so. Makes sense. You like my invention. Time runs out on me. Would you uh, keep blood mage Thanos in your opening hand, pretty much against everyone, or? So I wouldn't keep it against the Control Warrior, ironically, because it's so important there. I don't want to just cycle it on turn two against that, because I want to save it for the kill turn. Hmm, I see. But most of the time, I just treat it 
like a loot hoarder. Okay. It's just a, a loot hoarder with the added benefit that in certain matchups, you need to save the Kabold value. So here you're going with the turn two dims there to preempt his possible Azure Drake. Turn four, rather. It's a little bit weaker with something on the board that he can kill it with. But yeah, I do want to stop the Drake. The, the other play is just the uh, the eight armor. What to do? Mm, okay. What to do? But I I wouldn't know exactly which one I, um, I want to do here. It is really nice to stop the five mana play. But if he has Assassin's Blade and he just plays that, and uh, eh, you have to play that and backstab, and he just used the backstab already. If he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but there's also no guarantee he's got a five drop. This is true too. I, I don't. Uh, yeah. Probably the. Safer play is um is just armor up on curve. All right, I'll do that. But the preemptive doomsayer does get a lot of value in this yeah. matchup. Makes sense. For example, against that. Yep. It's just where the fog of war is. You don't know whether or not he has it. But over time, yeah. I guess you. My instinct is now to to doom before his uh, five monitor. I against see. Miracle. Even if I if, if the board is empty, pretty much no matter what. So we have Echolite Ping. Yep. If we do that, we stay at a uh, at seven cards. He could put us to eight, and then he can't he can't make a server draw. Okay. Okay. Unless he's got Cold Light, which I'm guessing you don't play around. No. Uh. Speak to me. Yeah. It is unfortunate that we're gonna get domed for seven. Here, but we didn't really have an alternative. So it looks like next turn is going to be block intellect. Mm. It could be. If we found a blizzard, I think we would use that. Or a nova. Right. And we have a couple chances to find it. Supposing this were the state, is the first thing you do send the acolyte into one of these guys? Yeah, I think so. Because this is too much damage to just want to block up. Okay, so you wouldn't fire blast first. No, I'm looking for Blizzard or Nova. Okay. So there's four opportunities to draw something. Bring the pain. Hmm. Yeah. That's not quite it. So now into the draw. Could be draw and then the armor, oh. or hmm. five, six, seven, eight. Okay. A little bit late. Yep. But, uh, we, yeah, we do armor instead of ice block here, because if he can pop us, then it's basically as good as killing us. I see. Yep. And if we're dead this quick, then we're dead. I think that polymorph that some people have tried is an adaptation to the rogues adaptation that we don't have polymorph, which is that they'll go all in rather often on a giant Edwin, but that didn't happen in this game. It's a, that's a medium Edwin. Alright, so on this turn I'm aware we could lose the next turn, but I think Flame yeah. Strike's still better. Flame Strike still has to be done. Okay. Uh, because it's, it's the same situation. If you Ice Block to play around, you could lose. Right. Then you definitely lose. <laughs> yep. So we have a turn 8, uh, Doom and Ice Block. Already. That's five, and then it would be wonderful if we could also Nova, but we haven't found it. That's pretty much the ideal turn eight leading into Alex Straza, the yeah. Nova Doom Ice Block. Barring that, Acolyte, no actually that, that can make sense. It's oh, a lo oh hey, found it. The end is coming! Maximizes the chance that Alex Straza is set up decently. And then we have plenty of burn to kill him afterward. Well, depending on how much he heals for. Yeah, it'll take at least two turns though. But we have the ice block that gives us those two turns. That is to say the other ice block in here. We do expect this to get sapped, but uh, for him to sap it and kill you might be a little bit tricky. Then again, maybe not.
Well, if the block dies, of course you have to play block, and then I guess Acolyte, Fire Blast, Acolyte. If Valyria is still out, block Blizzard isn't bad. He's not sapping that. Okay. So, we could actually opt to, since Leroy is dead, to oh. Alex defensively. I think that makes the most sense since it Ice Block. It does make a good amount of sense. I think doing the Ice Block without that just will. How could he do 15, or rather 12 out of hand? Mm -hmm. Two Eviscerates and SI7 and SI7? 3, 6. That doesn't even work because of the way of combo. Right? Oh, two, yeah, that's true. 6, 8, 10, 13. That'd be, yeah, I don't think he can do 15 on this turn. And the ice block would just get proc'd, and then we'd have to play Alex yeah, next turn. and then we'd have to do it anyway. So okay. I think, yeah, that's the best odds. Alright. That was interesting, leaving Leroy to die. Like, he could have kept it in his hand. Oh, well, he proc'd the ice block, that's right. So this is getting sapped. Or killed flat out. Okay, I was about to say if we if he saps it, yeah, then we can bring some life and hope to his face <laughs> at a later date. But he is he is a canny to that possibility, and so he's taking it out. Yeah, right, well, with a guy out, and then you can cold blood. So it seems like this guy needs to be removed. Mm -hmm. Or both guys need to be removed. Or just Blizzard. Yeah. Blizzard just looks better and better. Blizzard, uh, Acolyte, and Images is a, a play off the top of my head. It could also be, no, if you want to save the Blizzard, you could Nova and uh, Ice Block instead of Blizzard. But otherwise make the same play. Hmm. Blizzard I'll might be, it might be good now that we're fighting a sort of board control game. It might be good to hit more things for that damage. But uh, the other consideration is that Nova is only getting better and later on when you're tied up for mana. Yeah, so, I think Blizzard Acolyte and Mirror is best. I mean, I would even okay. be tempted to Fire Blast it gives you on the these guys. To ping stuff immediately next turn. If you do, if you do Nova, you're committing to do Blizzard next turn. So I see. All right, Blizzard Acolyte and Mirror. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think we've used any direct damage on his board yet, have we? Uh, we have not. Yeah. So there's like two Frost Bolts and two Ice Lances in here. Mm -hmm. Speak of the Devil. Rising Valley out of that play. Yep, it's the wisdom of playing it with uh, images. The AoE uh, has unintended side effects. Oh, that's uh -oh. good. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so we can even opt to how many cards do each of you have? Five you and six. Huh, alright, let me guess my play here since this is pretty interesting. Yeah. Let's see. I don't necessarily play the frost or the blizzard, and I think this needs to be removed, but it can be can wait a turn, mm -hmm. so frost bolt, fire, blast, and actually, eh, yeah, I feel comfortable. I think my move would just be blizzard, fire, blast, but let's hear yours. Blizzard, fire, blast on which Gadgetzan auctioneer? To put him to 4 1. Yep. Uh, I so wonder. I haven't been counting minions. He, he had one auctioneer die already? Is That's that right. True? Okay. Uh, so if we want to deck him out, if that's a plan that we're going with, then we could consider to leave the Gadget Zan alive right now. I'd be a little bit afraid of that plan. Um, well, yeah, that is so setting out one health for next turn, and it's frozen. Yeah, but then he gets the cycle during that whole turn. One option is to just uh, Nova and Lance it, and ping a 3-1. Hmm, okay. That seems reasonable. And you also get to develop the Ice Block at okay. the same time. And it saves your blizzard in case of more value later. And I'll do the uh, two damage one. Seems a little bit scary. Uh, yeah. 
in case of shadow stuff. Right now you're not worried about him shadow stepping to heal for one. Yep. I think this is a rather unusual game. Not as much as you would think. Like, uh, I really had to think before I said you should kill the gadgets in. Because decking, in this situation, once you've done the defensive Alex, like decking him out is quite useful. And so he has to spend spells if he wants to pop you, if you keep freezing his board over and over. And so all of those spells are getting him closer to death. And it actually ends up being kind of interesting. If he's smart, he often will shadow step his own gadgets and auctioneer just to be able to play more spells without killing himself. Hmm. It's, a, it's a tricky endgame, basically. All right. Drake? Yeah, I think Drake goes down here. It was that or like Pyroblast the face. All right, well, well, there's the spell damage. Looks like Frostbolt Ice Lance. Or rather, hmm, yeah, Frostbolt Ice. We could do double Frostbolt Ice Lance. Yeah, we do. We have 8, eight plus 5, 13, right? Yeah. And uh, in case of the second Deadly Poison, maybe it prevents lethal somehow. I wonder. Actually, now that you mention it, maybe it's good to Frostbolt him over two turns. Hmm. So, so you Frostbolt, Frostbolt Bang, Ice maybe? Lance, Fire Blast? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. We think we're getting lethal this turn. I, I uh, think we, getting no lethal really this turn is very unlikely. Yeah, there's no way to speed up. Um, to be able to do all this damage in just two turns. We have to do it over the course of three. So, I think this is about as good as it gets. Alright. That's technically lethal if you can't deal with uh, 612, 16, 612, uh, mm -hmm. 15. Popping us and handling the Drake becomes tricky. Yeah. But not impossible, right? I mean, uh, I thought sap. it was impossible for him to pop the blocks this turn. Sap double of his rate, SI. No, oh, that's true. He does have both of this still. Pass me that arc light spanner. Doesn't right. look like that. So it looks like Pyroblast. Oh, yep. Man. He's used one shadow step. or No, he's used both shadow steps. Yeah. That's right. And was that the first ERF that we saw? I think it was the second. I think it's the he second. He did shadow step the 3 1 yep. ERF. But he did one die before then? My eyes. Oh. Oh. Okay. No. One did not die before then. So, Pyroblast gives us lethal the following turn. He can't heal anymore. So it's game, I think. Yeah, that's lovely. That is exact. You right. um, could also just Fireball, Fireball, Frostball. I don't think it matters the order at this point. What Unless he's got the third shadow step that he's really going to throw <laughs> off my gear. Um, I suppose the safer is to... I mean, it doesn't matter, like you said. I don't think it matters. Right. You don't think. Check the check the cards for both, uh, both players. Three and two. Okay, so it's not a question of either one of you decking out. And we saw both shadow subs because he shadow sub Leroy and then he shadow sub the 3 1. That's right. Going first here. Yeah, I think we're safe. Priestess okay. of a Loon or whatever that card is, <laughs> the 5 4. Could ruin if our he day. Wins it, then, uh, if he runs that, then I guess good game. Yeah. He, he earned it with that one. He earned it. Yeah, I think we've found a victory. <laughs> But it's somewhat convoluted in this matchup now because they know to put enough pressure on that the defense of Alex Strasler, which used to be almost unheard of in my play, like I almost never did that in the previous season, mm. but now it's becoming more and more necessary. Fascinating. This is a really interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. And I think quite fun to play, although some people hard. find it a bit boring. <laughs> it's always, uh, to me it's always exciting because it's so close. Yeah, I mean it doesn't get closer than that. No. The exact, from 1 HP. Chad is apt in noticing that a cold light oracle would have caused us to lose. Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah, but you can't play around that. I mean, there was literally no play like around you can't it. play around it. Yeah, <laughs> not that you shouldn't. Like there was just no no way to do it. <laughs> oh my! Well, 
Bullet has been dodged. Nice. 